All right, it's your boy Pillar. I wanted to tap back in with you real quick on this Saturday. Uh, I wanted to go to this uh, text written by Socrates, a Greek philosopher, written in 400 BC from his book, Bersiris, section 11. And let's read it and see what it says. It says, Hence we shall find that in the arts, the comedic surpass those who work at the same skill occupation elsewhere more than any, elsewhere more than artisans in general excel the layman. Also with respect to the system which enables them to preserve royalty and their political institutions in general. They have been so successful that philosophers who undertake to discuss us to undertake to discuss such subject topics and have won the greatest reputation prefer above all the comedic form of government okay and that's by as you see socrates rich written in 400 bc this is the comedic so-called black man african man right and so let's break that down. He says, hence, we shall find that in the arts, the comedic. So hence, in the arts, we find that the comedic surpass those who work at the same skill occupations elsewhere. Right. So he said, we find that these black people, these, so, these so-called black people, right, African people, you know, African, whatever, like Hebrew, more, all that stuff is us, right? We're going to break all that down, too, because really, we're going to break all that down, right? Don't worry. Uh, surpassed though. So he's saying we were already skilled before enslavement and colonization. That's why he hear people say that um, some of the buildings in America, like, you know, these big buildings, that they were already built by us. You must believe that. I, I believe it, you, you know. Um, then he says, elsewhere more than artisans in general excel the layman. And so he like, hey, these guys in 400 B.C., from what I've seen, they are excellent. These black folks are killing the game. Okay? This is written for the BC. Also, with respect to the system, which enables them to preserve royalty. Let's read that again. Also, with, the, with respect to the system, which enables them to preserve royalty. And their political institutions in general. Right? So he's saying, man, whatever system they have, it's so I must give it respect. I, I respect the fact that they got some, these black folks have something. Because some people even say Socrates was a so-called uh, black man, but we'll get to all that later, right? But let's stay on this subject. These black folks, man, I got to give them respect. The system, they have a system which enables them to preserve royalty. Now, how could your history start in slavery when you have Socrates saying he respect your system there? allows you to and preserve your royalty and also political institutions. So when you hear people talking about Democrat, Republican, Constitution, we were the ones that excel with political institutions in general. That's where they learned it from, right? That's why masonry is hidden because they are trying to study those who excelled at political institutions, which is so-called black folks, right? Before enslavement. They have been so successful that philosophers who undertake to discuss such, such topics and have won the greatest reputation prefer above all others the comedic form of government. So here you got again a Greek philosopher saying these black folks have been so successful, these so-called black people have been so successful that philosophers, Greek philosophers who undertake to discuss such topics and have won the greatest reputation who has won a great reputation in our society today? That's unless it's that the Greeks started. But here you have a Greek saying, those who have won the greatest reputation prefer above all others the comedic form of government. So let's, let's cipher that. Though that philosophers, successful, that philosophers who undertake to discuss such topics and have won the greatest reputation prefer above all others the so, so-called black people form of government. Written in 400 BC. So he's telling you, you were already excelling. You just wasn't surviving. No, you were thriving. And they were, just like they do today, they were studying you. That's why you go to museums and you see 
everybody that's studying because they this is what you find the standard. The people that are like this, you see this? And so that's why they have to have you go into their school so you take and lower your standard. Because then if, if you knew your standard, it you 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 see what he said, I must respect the system which enables them to preserve royalty in political institutions. That's called government. You get what I'm saying? And he says, the ones with the greatest reputation prefer above all others the African form, the black form of government. But yet, now we are colonized and enslaved. But I'm going to show you something real quick. One second. And I just wanted to show you something. Let's go back to Aristotle real quick. Because remember, Socrates said that the philosophers of the great reputation wanted to copy these black folks form a government, right? So let's read Socrates. This is from his book. My fault. Let's read Aristotle from his book, Aristotle Politics, Book 7, Section 1329. Let's see if what Socrates has any uh, validation. You know what I'm saying? Or can it be qualified, as they say, right? And he says, and we may infer in political institutions the same rule holds. Egypt witnesses to the antiquity of all things, for the Egyptians appear to be of all people the most ancient. And they have laws and a regular constitution existing from time immemorable. We should therefore make the best use of what has already been discovered and try to supply the fact. Let's decipher that real quick. Huh? And we may affirm in political institutions. You heard Socrates just said in political institutions, these people excel. The same rule holds. Egypt, these so-called black folks, right? Witnesses to the ancient history of all things for that these black folks appear to be of all people the most ancient. The so-called black folks, right? And they have laws and a regular constitution from existing from time and memory, since we had a memory. Right? The way is that black folk? Because they told you your history started with slavery, right? This is now you seeing the colonization of the mind, right? Because they have to have this stuff from you, right? We should therefore make best use of what's already been discovered and try to plastify uh, the fact. Now, isn't that what Socrates, what does Socrates say, right? So here's, here's Aristotle saying, we should use what these black folks got and then just adjust it to how we live in, right? One second. So we know when um, Socrates, 400 BC, 400 BC, in his book, Bersiris says, also with respect to the system which enables them to preserve royalty and political institutions. Huh? And he said, they have been so successful that philosophers who undertake to discuss such topics and have won the greatest reputation prefer above all others the so called black form of government. I'm just deciphering it for you. The so called black people form of government, the African government, the African American, the Nubian form of government. I just showed you two Greek philosophers saying that they really are impressed. Well, what these so-called black folks are doing. See the brother over here? What? You need to get closer? You see him? Okay, then. So, it's your boy, Jay Pillar. I love you. Love you so much. Okay? I'm not trying to put any, anybody down. I'm just showing those who don't know and those who think it's a game when it comes to uh, trying to colonize people. Really, of all uh, complexions, right? And so... Um, just wanted to show you how in your DNA is still this greatness. In your memory is still this greatness. This greatness. Don't give up on yourselves. All right. I love you. Have a wonderful day. It's your boy Pella. Shem Hotep. Hasta la vista. Shalom. One.